the building. When you discover that the exhibits in this case are huge steam locomotives, you can appreciate that the National Railway Museum in York had a problem. But by next year, they'll be in a new home while the old buildings improved. Jake Fowler reports on how they're trying to cope. In June, it was announced that there were big problems with the Railway Museum's roof. A few years ago, they detected weaknesses in the concrete arches that support the two acres of roofing space. Emergency repairs involved covering the defective concrete beams to stop falling pieces, but a longer-term solution was needed. They'd have to take everything out of the main exhibition hall, and a number of engines will travel away from Yorkshire and will return when the new roof's been built. It's the biggest move of its kind, some of the world's most famous locomotives having to find new homes during the year-long repair work. Well, obviously, it's going to take a lot of planning, which uh, our staff are busily engaged in at the moment. But we will be moving many of the items down to a new exhibition at Swindon uh, called the National Railway Museum on the Move. And, uh, but the majority of the vehicles will be moved across to our new Great Railway show across the road from the main museum. The, the new roof will be a single span roof on a central buttress and uh, two buttresses at each end of the museum. Um, this will allow new methods of display within the museum and uh, we will be redesigning the interior of the museum as a result. In the meantime, this will be the new National Railway Museum for a year. It's in what was once the main station for York. Works well underway for the official opening next March. There will be a different design from the circular layout in the main hall over the road. It's being billed as a new venture, the Great Railway Show a slice of life from the turn of the century. We're very lucky in, in this building in that, it, as you'll see, it's a linear layout. So for the first time, we can put locomotives and carriages together to recreate the atmosphere much more of a, a train station. And the theme of the Great Railway Show is, in fact, travel for passengers and goods by train. And certainly in this building, we can try and recreate with the use of costumes the whole atmosphere of an Edwardian railway station. There'll be a new edition never before on display. This carriage was used by the Queen Mother until the mid-1970s. It's got all the fittings you'd expect and some special touches. There's a writing desk, a paging system, and a phone connected to other parts of the Royal Train. The National Railway Museum are putting a brave face on the structural problems of a building that's been their home for 14 years. If everything goes to plan, all the locomotives will be reunited under a new roof by March 1991.